Hello and welcome back to some more of Eve Online with me, the Green Dragon. Don't worry about the industrial ship, I just brought some water over from my planets. It's all fine. Today we're gonna be doing wonderful, wonderful things. Namely, it's time for me to get a real fighting ship. Well, for PvE anyway. PvE anyway, so um, we're gonna get them a carrier. I have enough skills to start flying one and we're gonna be equipping one and uh, also going and doing some uh, level 3 missions for one of the Kaltari corporations namely the one I'm using for my uh, industrial pursuits like research and actually making modules and you know get my standing up Ooh, sexy 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 warship very nice. I have a billion in Isk left over after buying that and after plexing for the month, so all is good. First order of business. First order of business so that we know how much crap we have left over is to put on some guns. We have, what, eight slots? And um, seven guns. Well and good. That is perfectly fine then. Perfectly, perfectly fine. So, projectile guns. Uh, no, we're gonna go with auto cannons. We need large ones for this. Okay, let's see. Okay, what's my power grid like? Oh, my power grid is fracking amazing. Jesus, battleship level power grids. Score! Okay, so um, 0 0.04 rads, that's fine. Scout guns are the best. Okay, so let's take a look. What do we get? We have about 8 seconds cycle time with 3 times the power. And here we have 7 seconds with twice, so that's a lot less damage. 7.5. Yeah, we are gonna... Hmm, polarized guns. If only I could use them, I could do some very, 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 very naughty things with stuff like that, but I can't. Okay. So, seven heavy scout cannons will have to do. Oh, they're cheap. Wait. The fuck? If I ask to buy 7 from this, it should just buy it. This game. Buy me the last one. Thank you. Fuck's sake, you dickhead. Okay. Okay. That's a artillery piece. We don't want that. We want... Yeah, ooh, yeah. That's gonna have a lot of range on it as well, I expect. So all will be well. What kind of speed do we get here? Lots of speed, not so much on the actual maneuverability. So I will be wanting to add at least two gyro stabilizers for the guns. And uh, two nanofibers. Nanofiber internal structures, I mean. In order to give this ship some um, oomph. And I think we'll be passive shield tanking this one. I don't want... I don't know. The armor repair route doesn't seem to work that well. And I will be using a lot of my low slots for damage and things like that. So, uh... Ultimately, you know, passive shield tank might be best. We'll see how it works out. We'll see how it works out. Uh, next, what do I want? A micro warp drive. Actually, we do want one of those on. We don't want this one because that's sucky when we want the prototype one because that will be slightly better. Yes, and good. Micro warp drive. That takes a lot of power. 
How much per cycle? Uh, about 3000 over how long? 10 seconds. Okay. Okay, we'll decide what we want to do with the power in a bit. First, though. Let's just, yes, this. I will want dual webs on this. For obvious reasons, so that I can lock those NPC bastards down. Good and hard. There we go. Next, 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 next. We want gyro stabilizers. We're just gonna maneuver this. The Close that. Weapon upgrades. Gyro stabilizers. Gyro stabilizer 1 is not good enough. Counterbalanced weapon mounts. Yes, two of those. Thank you. Put them on this end. Do we have power diagnostic systems left over? Yes, we do. Let's see what that does to our shield, shall we? Hmm. That region rate is atrocious. It truly, truly is. I want a whole lot more than that, I think. I mean, it does improve our power situation. Okay, adaptive and vulnerability. We'll put one of those on there, I think. I mean, we might as well. Wait, this actually boosts my overall shield amount as well? Huh, cool. Let's take a look at those bonuses. Just, let's take a look. What do we get? Shield recharge, power grid, shield hit points. Yeah, it's a lot of nice bonuses. A whole lot of nice bonuses. Hmm. <clears> okay, <throat> right, so that they... Well, maybe we go with an active shield booster instead. With enough of these, we could run that pretty well. I think. No? Well, one thing I do know I'll definitely want is um, armor res uh, or other uh, shield resistance rigs. We'll definitely want those. So, um, why don't we get two large EM screen reinforcers and an anti thermal reinforcer? Because those we will. Did actually buy it? Not sure, let's see. Transactions... Yes, load... Yeah, you did, okay. Okay. Large bullshit ring. Hmm. Okay, so there's two ways I could go about this. Let's buy one of these. Well, actually, no. Shield... Re recharger, I think it was. Yes, I can use the level 2 one, right? Right. So let's say I have a couple of these. Shield rechargers. Yes, I do have a few of those. So, how much difference would this make, honestly? Not that much on its own. What if I had two? A bit... Hmm. Wait. Right. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, I know, I'm taking my time figuring this out, but this is important. This is a big deal. This is a lot of money for me. Shield relay. No, 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 no. Just relay. So. Shield power relay 2 I can't use. I can use the... Bait reactor control one. Yes, I know these kill the capacitor. I am aware. Very much so. Let's say I had three of them. And... Flux coils. Can I use level two ones? No. Great. 
No, 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 no. I want to actually buy three of these. Flux coils suck because they decrease your maximum shield amount in order to increase it, but they don't kill your capacitor. Hence, they have a certain. Okay, have all kinds of weird shit here, but okay. Okay, so. Let's say I did put on the. Well, let's start with the flux coils, I suppose. What would my region look like then? My region then would virtually suck. Okay, I can get 26 this way. All well and good. Whoops, that's the wrong freaking thing. 26, what if I put these on? What do I get then? 27, I actually get more by using these, so those are useless to me. Okay, good to know. What about actual power relays? Now, those things are pretty damn beastly on the shields, but they suck on everything else. 42. Oh, yeah, that's still horrible. I think we're just gonna go with an active shield tank then. I know, I know, it sucks having to do an active tank. I don't like active tanking. I just don't. I'm sorry, I don't. But, what can I do, right? So, let's take a look at the shield boosters. Let's take a look at the shield boosters. Let's pick out a large one so that we can pulse it and repair very quickly if we need to. Uh, shield boosters... Extra large? I can probably put an extra large one on there. This one? Probably not. What about boost amplifiers? What is this madness? What does this do? Increases the efficiency, does it? Hmm. What does it do? Shield boost bonus. What does it require of me? Medium power slot. Which I might want to use for actual resistances. Hmm. Okay. The good thing about these... Um, projectile ships is that they don't require any capacitor to fire their guns, which makes them extremely effective against things that neutralize capacitor stuff. Okay. 30% boosting, that's good, but we don't really have the mid slots for it. Well, we'll see how this works. I actually get more shield regen on my... Uh, What's his face? Hurricane. But we'll see. So extra large shield thing. This could be used with good things. With cap boosters, right? How much do these cost? Oh, yeah, they're not that expensive. We'll buy all of them. And, uh, We'll buy one of these. Because, fuck yeah, why not? Why not? Shield. Shield, shield, shield. And boosters. Load them on. Wow, they are that big. Hmm, well, that's fun. Can't do that then. How many can actually be loaded on there? Three? Well, that won't do. I mean, we can just probably... Wait. What if we load the 400 ones instead? How big are they? I mean, really, how big are they? Let's find out. Let's buy 70 of those. I am just screwing around, I know. So... can put 9 in there... 
Okay. Let's see. Let's see. 32. That's still not a lot. Yes, yes, yes. Let's... I think we can't really do this. We're gonna need place for bullets as well. I mean, it can... Uh, it would be probably good in a PvP fight, but... Not if we're gonna be doing mission after mission after mission. I mean, level 3 missions, right? It should be fine. Overall, it's just, you know... Let's get a proper shield booster. How much do you take? 400 per cycle? Okay. That's fine. Yeah. Let's just do it this way. It's fine. Alright. Put that on. That takes all of our remaining CPU. That's fine. And now we want bullets used with EMP was good. Let's get, say, 5,000 of those. 5,000 of those. That's a good start. Then we want... Fusion and Phased Plasma, I think, as well. Just so that we have... Several different types to choose from. Active shield boosting, though. Jesus Christ. Okay, phased plasma. Okay. I guess I could get this even better. As well, I could get this to be good as far as. You know, a passive tank was concerned, but then I probably couldn't use the micro war drive. I would have to use an afterburner because that's the real problem. Because it kills my capacitor something fierce. Why the fuck do I have a large ancillary thing on there? Did I really put it back on? Yes, put this on. There we go. How much do I get? Five seconds. Yeah, that's good. That's very good. I mean, it will absolutely wreck our actual thing, but who cares, right? Yeah, okay. Bullets loaded. How many can you hold? 120, that's not bad. 400 DPS. Not quite as nasty as my Naga, but good enough. Armor repair. Bearer. We are gonna take some of these with us in case we get damaged so that we can um, rebuild ourselves without having to actually, you know, can't actually use these. Can I use medium ones, please? Thank you medium ones then, just in case we get damaged so that we can actually, you know, repair and make good things happen there. Yes, there we go. That's good. I think that's everything we really need. We can take this out for test flight now. Wait, I have set a route to the place where I originally ground those missions, so... We might as well get started on that. Hopefully I have enough shield buffer to um, handle a bit of fighting. And we'll just put that chat away. Let's see how quickly this thing turns. Well, it's slow, but it's a battleship. What do you freaking expect? And we're warping. At an atrociously slow speed, but what can you do? Dude. Blink off. Goodbye. Let's go. Wait. So, big guns. The plan is simple. Anything that it comes up against us, we lock down with double webs and we pummel its face in.
really rather simple. We'll pulse the shield region as needed. If we really need to, we'll dock up, rebuild our capacitor up to full and go back in. I really didn't want to actually go for an armor tank, even though I could build up a huge buffer with the power I have just by stacking insane amounts of plates if I wanted to be stupid like that. Because, well, I like shield better, even though I don't have that many slots for it. But I guess on this ship it might be better to switch to an armor tank. And really it's fine, I'll just experiment and uh, see what how it feels act when I actually fly it. Because, let's face it, these rigs are really really cheap. If I have to rip them out, what am I down? Two mil maybe? Mil and a half? Fuck that, that's fine. That's nothing. I mean, well, this ship is pretty fast. What kind of resistances do we get? I mean, this should be good for... What's his face? For... You know, missions at least. You take 400, so I can run you for 10 cycles, thus get half of my shield back as needed. Yeah, we'll be mostly tanking with our buffer, I think, here. Because my cap region just won't be... I mean, I'm not going to be running this thing continuously, that's for damn sure. This is a big module meant for pulsing as needed. I might switch it out eventually for a smaller shield booster, or I might just, like I said, go entirely for armor tank. It's just that I have better skills for shields and, you know, with the things I definitely wanted in there, I have three slots left over for low and two for high, right? So, um... I guess I could put cap rechargers in here and put armor tank in these three low slots, but I need an extra resistance module there, right? And if I want to build up a good buffer, unless I go for an active armor tank, I could do that. But even then, yeah, the shield recharge rate on this thing is actually, I think, longer from zero to full than on a hurricane. Because I get 73 shield per second recharge on that. Admittedly, it has like no capacitor recharge, but it's, it doesn't need capacitor for guns, so you can just sit there and gunboat everything, right? As long as I don't have to use the MVD on my hurricane, it works like a charm. And it's good against sleepers that neutralize capacitors, because those fuckers, well, some of them, except that I don't have the range to do it on the uh, cruisers, they awakened up holders, so that's kind of a thing. In any case, we're gonna be in system pretty soon. Yeah, this thing isn't that slow. I think it warps almost as, yeah, pretty much as fast as my uh, battle cruiser. So it's a really nice battleship. It's very fast, which I like a great deal. And it might be good enough if I get a. Um, officer afterburner for it, possibly, to run on an afterburner without needing a micro warp drive. And wow. 1500 meters per second on an afterburner. Ooh, I have a feeling that that's pretty damn good on a battleship. It's pretty damn good. Uh, default keep at range 5k? Ah, 5k is fine. 5k will work great for us. 5k will work absolutely great. What are my standings with the Lydai Corporation, which I'm currently gonna um, uh, play with? Let's see. My best is with Sisters of Eve. Lydai is second at 5.56. I need a little bit more to really top them out so that I get no extra costs when producing in their stations. But that's fine. Now, eventually, my corp is gonna make a. Um, their own station in some wormhole somewhere, and that's fine. Then I'll probably be producing that once I'm sure that that place is gonna be secure, right? But until then, until then, you know, we need to do this sensibly. Also, I will be working on getting the Minmatar Tech 3 Destroyer for PvP, because that thing looks like a damn beast, and I'm the Min 
I mean, I'm still experimenting with what races and what ships and what types of play I like. So my skills are a little bit all over the place, but I'm, I have to tell you, I'm really, since I started trying them, I really, really starting to love the Minmatar ships. Shocking I mean, oof, nice. That's some good shit right there. Wait. Wait, did I fuck up? I have a drone bay. Uh, one second. What kind of drone bandwidth do I have? I'm not gonna go back all the way to G. There's going to be some drones. Hundred. Uh, yeah, no. Where's the nearest hammerhead? What are some in station? Excellent. So I can get five of them. Hob goblins. We want some of those as well. Hob goblin ones. Ah, oh, there's some in station. Uh, 15 on the, of those. Just so that we can counter. Still have crap in here. Do I have any ships? No, not really. Okay. Yeah, I still have some crap for our, from when I used to run missions in here. But yeah, these will be used to counter smaller ships, okay? Just as a backup. And I'm gonna cut the video here and we're gonna get into the level 3 security missions for the Light Eye Corporation in the next episode. So thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you guys in the next one.